I've come back from everything. Uh, I was dead when I was 17. I came back from that. I was paralyzed in 91. I came back from that. I've been all over the world. I've done a whole lot of great things. So the most important and most powerful thing in my, in my life is my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And he's who I work for, y'all. I don't work for any man on the planet, any woman on the planet, not no more. I work for him. So um, I'm out there. I'm here. I'm, I'm doing it all and giving it everything I got. And you're Jake the Snake Roberts' brother that a lot of people don't know. Um, what was it like uh, growing up with him? Well, actually, um, we didn't grow up together. Uh, I mean, there was a, a few brief times in our childhoods that, that uh, Jake and, his, and JoLynn, my sister JoLynn, uh, lived with us and stuff. But uh, uh, Jake stayed in Texas with his mom. And then uh, we, Robin and I were on the, on the road with my dad and everything most of my life but yeah it was cool you know I always idolized Jake 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 my brother's got the best mind that professional wrestling has ever seen better than any of these Hollywood script writers that, you know that they're hiring or anything like that Jake uh, fed off of uh, emotions um, you know things he's got the best psychological mind for this business uh, everybody says so you know um, but it's a real honor you know and I'm proud he's my brother now, the na her name slips me right now, but you used to be married to a famous uh, female wrestler, right? Well, she wasn't a wrestler. She was a valet. Her name was Baby Doll. She was the perfect 10. And she is, she is a perfect 10. She's, she's a, a wonderful, a beautiful person. Uh, and I love her dearly. Um, uh, yeah, uh, we've, got, uh, a, we've got two daughters together. Uh, my oldest daughter is a singer, which is something I'm doing too now. Uh, her name is Michaela. She has a, I mean, uh, Micah, uh, Tyler. She has a band called Never Knots. And then um, my youngest daughter is wrestling under the name Samantha Starr. She's doing quite well in the independent circuit. She's held many, many ladies' divisions titles. And, oh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm so proud of both my daughters because they're reaching and going for their dreams, man. Is it tough having a relationship with someone that's also in the wrestling business? Yeah, because the wrestling business takes so much out of you. It requires so much, you know. Uh, it robs you of everything, just about. Um, gosh, you know, and really, when you sit down and think, I mean, you really need to grab a steel folding chair, sit it out somewhere in a corner, and just spend your few hours thinking, is it worth it all, you know? But sometimes then, then you get those moments where you really touch somebody's life, you know, and you make a difference. Um, and yeah, that's worth it all. Now, you want to tell us about your new album that you have? Out? Well, it's actually uh, the song. It's one song right now. It's the song about uh, the night I got saved uh, a long time ago. It's the song is called Salvation. It was released on 23 country music stations a couple of weeks ago, thanks to Pat Rose, uh, and set the hook with Pat Rose, his fishing show. So I'd encourage everybody to give it a listen. It's on YouTube. It's out there for free. I just, you know, want to give it away. It's, it's how, you know, and it's how God's working in my life. Uh, I've had so many pitfalls. I've been through it all, but, you know, and I. I've got almost nine years sober, and even though I keep getting knocked down, I keep getting back up, and I haven't took a drink yet. I've drawn a line in the dirt. I've stepped across it, you know, and I'm fighting for what I believe in, you know, and uh, that's the way we all need to be. Are you on that same uh, medication that your brother is on to help not drink? It's just you using No, I quit. Yeah, I quit, um, I quit nine years ago uh, when I first went to prison. Uh, I was in on murderer's row for two days. I tried to hang myself. Uh, the nooses broke uh, when I jumped. I told God, I said, only you can stop this, and I jumped. It's in a real dark place in my heart. And, uh, and uh, the, the nooses broke. I dropped to my knees. I promised God I wouldn't uh, try to hurt myself again. And uh, five days later, I lost my mom due to alcohol and over-the-counter medications and stuff like that. Her liver shut down. And after they chained me up and took me to the chaplain and brought me back, they put me in the cell and I dropped to my knees and I said, I'm never going to drink again. And I made that promise to God, to my mother, and for my daughters. And that's what I said. I, draw, I drew a line in the, in, in the dirt on my toe and I stepped over it. And I'm not going to be pushed back. You know, it's something I believe in. 
And is there any uh, final thought you want to tell the fans watching this to end this interview? Yeah, man, check me out on Sam Houston. God's got a hold on me. You can see on some of the things I'm doing with Sam Houston Fan Nation. I've got an event coming up Saturday night for two families in Whitesboro, Texas. A four-year-old leukemia patient. She's, uh, her name is Everly Ledbetter. Uh, she's undergoing chemotherapy. Um, we're going to be continually uh, on a continual effort to to help the family. Her father is a is one of the school coaches, and her mother is one of the school teachers, and we just want to be there. You know, in, uh, communities like Whitesboro, Texas, we all pull together and we help. You know, in all the, in all the catastrophes all over the all over the country that I've been through, I've been in hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, wherever you at, the human spirit, you pull together and you get together and you help somebody out. Well, that's what I'm trying to do here in Whitesboro, Texas. I want the community to get together and help this little girl out, you know. Let, let's get together and, and, and make that walk or go that one step further for, their ch for a child that's in need that can't go it on her own. That's what I want to be here for. I've got some magazine things I'd like to get, let, uh, let you have and stuff like that. And then maybe sometime when you're doing one of these interviews or something just on your own, you can do a reflection. You can go, wow, that Sam's into a lot of stuff. Let's follow him. Y'all guys take care. And thank you very much for all the opportunities. And thank you for letting me be here.